see you there. Well, welcome to the Variety Show. We have three great sections lined up for you today. First is an opinion piece, second is an interview, and third is a tutorial on how to make friends. Let's get going. Welcome back to my segment of the podcast where we like to speak our mind. And today's topic, babies. What's up with them? Imagine this. You're walking down the street, you're minding your own business, when all of a sudden a stroller starts approaching, coming your way, and then you come face to face with the baby. The baby's just giving you a death stare. There was no reason for that baby to do that. And babies they could very well be plotting, plotting to take over the world. They're plotting against us. To the average person, they're not even going to bat an eye, just a helpless child. So they're not going to pay any attention, but that's what they want you to think. They're probably all, as we speak, planning to build an army, a baby army. They're going to be unstoppable. How are you going to stop a baby? A baby? You, you're telling me... You see this face, you get no malicious vibes from this. Your demise is underway. This menace. Oh, oh, I'm getting a call. Uh, hello? Can you repeat that again? You said, what about my mom? Well, listen here, you little... Oh. Well, very well then. Well, uh, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today's segment of the show. Before I go, I just want to say, uh, there's absolutely nothing to worry about babies. Totally not plotting anything. Totally no world domination. And, uh, I'll go ahead and... Please don't hurt my family. I'm so sorry for what I said. I didn't mean any of that stuff. I was gonna get to a great baby though. I think I didn't mean any of that. Please, you understand. Hi there, and welcome to my portion of the podcast. We're joined by a very special guest today. Not the guest I intended, but I did find him running around through the halls. How are you? What's your name, and uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, uh, Fuzz. My name is Max. Uh, I'm doing pretty rough, and uh, I'm a buddy. Well, that's very interesting, Max. Uh, uh, tell me, what is it like being a, uh, a hard-working baby in the modern world? You know, it's, um, it's just very stressful. It's hard to come to an agreement and an understanding. There's just a bit of bottom in my mouth, and they don't ever... What I have to yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. Absolutely. Tell me, what do you do for fun, Max, uh, when you're not busy uh, uh, getting force-fed uh, by your parents? You know, it's typical baby shenanigans. You know, go on a stroller, go uh, visit the park from time to time. Totally not plotting anything with uh, other uh, babies or anything. If it's all right with you, uh, Max, I, I would, uh, I would just like to quickly, uh, mm -hmm. draw a portrait of you. Oh, yeah, that part. What do you think? Picasso. You know, you weren't planned to come in today, but you did anyway, and I appreciate that. Uh, mm -hmm. I found you running around the halls uh, next to a dead body. What were you doing uh, next to that dead body, by the way? Um, I don't know. Where was he sleeping? He was I, just sleeping. Yeah, I, I ran, I ran What's, He looked dead to me. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up, Max? When I grow up, I want to... I want to rule the world. Tell me, how do you plan on achieving this dream? Um, at the moment, we're a baby army. If I was trying to take over the world, I, you know, I'd maybe I'd hire adults. Yeah. And welcome to my part of the variety show. Our subject for today is how to make friends. Now, I'm obviously really qualified 
to teach y'all this because I, I mean I have a lot of friends. The first way I'm going to teach y'all how to make friends is looking around. So this is how you do it. You look around and ask, are there friends to be found? You never know where a friend might be, so don't be afraid to check in places. See, me and him, we go way back. Hey, okay. Yeah, no! Uh, I'm so glad we met. My gosh. What was that? What? Oh my god, no! No! Look around and there's no friends to be found. The next thing that we're gonna do is hire some friends. The most bestest one ever is um, actually trees. You can hire the trees to be your friends. It only costs about like $100 per minute to talk to the tree. Um, if, that's, if you're like, trees don't talk, Sarah, you're so weird. Um, you're not paying them enough. So, the trees prefer that you pay them in a certain way since they're so high class. The first method is to pin your money on the tree. Oh my gosh, you're too funny, Mr. Tree. Oh. oh my god. No, you're so right. I don't think that I have ever connected with someone on this deep of an emotional level before. Stuffed animals, they make great friends too. I mean, that's the majority of my friends. And they're all really cool so definitely look for those when in doubt plushies always work as you can tell they're awesome they're my best friends ever and you know we just have really great conversations obviously not as good as you're gonna get from a tree because they're amazing it's with all of them I mean they're all pretty nice I'm They're all pretty nice and like respectful of my show, which is really good. And <sighs> we aren't friends anymore. That was really rude. This has been the last episode of the Variety Show because they all died.
Seven, six, six five, five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six, five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Ten, nine, eight. Yes! Fine. That Must have been an express. I. Does an express not stop at every stop? I don't know. Well, isn't that? Like, yeah, yeah, no, it is. It... Okay, what about the three? What time does the three get here? It looks like it doesn't come down this route. Really? I used to catch the three here all the time. The city changed the routes last year. All right, so there are two options. We could either wait here for the five and then transfer, which is about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Or we could just walk, which is only 45 minutes. Okay, then let's walk. Him? Yeah. Let's go. Have a nice day. I'll take what I can get. So why do we gotta go to this specific DQ again? Because this specific DQ has the best chicken fingers, hands down. Right. Okay, but like, there's a DQ by the house. Nah, dude, I don't know what it is, but this particular DQ has the most gorgeous chicken fingers you've ever seen. Every other DQ, no matter where you go, chicken fingers taste like I didn't even know that until I was at school, and I tried the DQ in Providence, and the chicken fingers were disgusting, dude, like nasty. So, this is the Dairy Queen that I used to go to with my brother. Um, I don't really know how he even found it, but we, he would, we would go together, he'd pick me up from dance on Saturdays, and we'd take the bus there, just like <laughs> we tried to today. And we'd always order chicken fingers and gravy, with a dipped cone. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Right? And it was so funny, they had like the big come and take it flag out front, very very Texas, <laughs> very Texas. And uh, even the placemats, they had the Texas flag on them for like coloring, but my, my brother and I never really colored them. We would just fold them up into paper airplanes and chuck them at each other. Uh, God, I'm sorry, I'm being so boring right now. I, I don't know. No, I love your stories. Aww. Aw, they tore down the CD daycare. It's a shame. Mm. Wait, I think we took a wrong, I think we might have missed the turn. I think we went too far. Why didn't you say anything? I was following you. Oh. Don't you know the way? Well, I did, but I guess not anymore. 
Turn around. Oh my god. Nearly there. I thought we were going the right way. I'm really confused now. We'll figure it out. I'm, yeah, but like I, I don't like not knowing my own way around my own neighborhood. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. What? I must have missed this turn because I was looking for a big tree right there. But I guess they cut it down. I love that tree. Yeah. You know. It's okay. That's cool. Number Whoa, what's wrong? These aren't the right chicken fingers. Oh, uh, that's, that's okay, right? It's just chicken. I know. I, I just wanted one thing to stay the same. Can I speak with your manager? What's the issue, sir? Hi. Yeah, your uh, chicken finger recipe changed. I'm just wondering why. Yeah. Our hand butter chicken finger were really popular. It's a recipe of my aunt's. She's the first generation immigrant. Do you know what that means? Hard work. Mm -hmm. She came all the way from China, landed in Louisiana, and uh, worked in a chicken restaurant. I learned the secret to the juiciest chicken. Bought this franchise in 1967. When I was 17, uh, she's a little bit older, cannot take care of everything in the store anymore. She called me up, said, hey, come down here and take care of the store with me. So I came from China and uh, helped manage the store since then. Her pride and joy, pride and joy, is her recipe for the hand butter chicken fingers. The problem is my aunt's recipe, which is what we've been serving for God knows since the beginning of 1967. And, uh, we cannot serve anymore. They sued us. But the DQ Corporation sued us on the misguided idea that we can only serve their version of the chicken strip. That does I mean, that's, a, that's absurd, right? Yeah. Like, that doesn't... It is and it isn't. I mean, it's a franchise and it's the law. But we're not stupid. <laughs> My aunt left a loophole in that contract that we're countersuing. But before that settled, we have to serve their frozen chicken strip. I apologize. Yeah, shit. All right. Uh, yeah. 
Thank you for understanding. Spray the word. Matey, give this young man a button. Good day. Would you like to sign the petition? Sure. How's your wrist? It hurts. Mm. Forgot how good these were. Mm -hmm.
You have finally arrived. Who the hell are you? My feelings are hurt, Bethany. Come on. Take a guess so we can skip to the fun part. Where'd you get that outfit? What game are you trying to play? You're asking all the wrong questions. Guess who? Now, Bethany, it isn't nice to touch people's wounds without their permission. <laughs> How did you get here? Ask yourself. What drives one to gouge their own eye out? Ha <laughs> ha